Oh, oh god, god! No, don't jump! Oh god! Holy! M Get out of there! Quick! Oh! What are you doing? Yeah, you want to give it a shot or not? Roll! No! 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 Oh! Run of me! Jeez! Welcome everybody to the channel. Today we're heading for an overnight adventure ride on the west side of the Sydney Blue Mountains, New South Wales, Australia. This is another first to me. I'm with five random dudes we only met this morning. We're all loaded up and ready to go. I'll do a quick intro of everybody's bikes and then we'll pick up the action once we head into the bush. On the left here we've got Ollie on a loaded up DRZ. He's got a yellow one, um, kind of like mine, but mine's black. Absolute legend. In front of me here, we've got a young P plater. This is Alex, he's also on a DRZ who has um, failed to get his suspension done yet. He's just testing the bike out and see what upgrades he wants to do. But he's pretty keen to do some drops today, he reckons, so that should be interesting. On my left here, we've got Stuart, he's on a KTM. He's got um, a lot of weight in that backpack because he had to carry extra fuel, but he's totally used to it. He's a hardened hiker, so um, he's keen as muscle to get into it. And then in front, to the right, we've got Jan. He's on the bigger bike, a KTM as well. He's got a very, very slick looking setup and he's super keen to get on the harder trails. But his bike's so noisy, <laughs> I can't hear myself talking. So we've already got our first problem here. Poor Jan's um, camel pack bladder, we haven't even hit the dirt yet, has ruptured a leak. <laughs> so now he's trying to come up with a backup plan. So the poor bloke's got some water. We're just winding our way through some awesome, awesome farmland. But that's our destination in mind. Um, the west side of the Sydney Blue Mountains, also known as the bush. And that's where we're going to go, explore, and have a whole two days on the dirt. It's going to be absolutely epic. Check out what Mother Nature has put on for us today. It's meant to be raining today, but we've got full sun at the moment. Um, I know these areas in the mountains can um, be pretty unpredictable, but according to the weatherman, it wasn't meant to be sunny like this. So absolutely living the dream right now. Cruising on this easy, easy trail until we get into the bush. Um, it's exactly how I wanted the day to pan out actually, so cannot complain at all. I just had yarn sitting on my tail around this corner. And now he's not here. I hope he hasn't overshot it. What's going on? I don't know why, I've just got a sick feeling all of a sudden. What happened? Did he fall? Yeah, he fell over. Oh, oh no. You alright though? Okay. Whew. <laughs> and Alex is not the first person to fall. <laughs> so, well, it's no harm's done. We can have a laugh, I guess. Whew. What I love about this adventure riding gig, it's um, such a unique hobby in the grand scheme of things for the, you know, the world's population. But you can meet someone for the very first time and share this awesome, awesome hobby heading into some unique wilderness and instantly feel totally liable for one another. Um, like, yeah, I just had a little, little fall. No harm done. A bit of a laugh in the end. But you just you have to just feel so responsible for one another otherwise you can't go riding together especially with strangers so um, I'm glad he's alright but man I just I don't know I just had my head oh he's gone down in that corner luckily it was a different corner we got Stuart coming first it's only a nice easy river crossing nice to get the boots wet beautiful then it looks like we've got Alex. Yes. Then we've got Ollie. Oh, coming in hot. Oh, <laughs> like a pro. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Get the tires a bit clean. Come on, tractor. Oh, shit. Whew. 
bit loose, a bit loose indeed. You'll get going or you want a hand? I'll get your front wheel in here. Yeah. Is it in gear? Yeah. <coughs> oh, 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 oh. It's a pretty steep hill, this one. Here comes Alex, you'll be alright. Alex is more like me, just hit the throttle and, and go, go, go. Go, go. Yeah, yeah, hot, yes! Go, go, go! Meanwhile, because I'm filming, <laughs> I'm the one stuck walking up and down the hills, which um, is no fun because it's quite warm. Quite warm indeed. So poor Stuart, we, um, we're all parked here, heading down here. And he put his foot on the, um, the, the low side of the dirt and he dropped his bike but unfortunately he had his accelerator and his leg looked like it was stuck in here and he's ripped all his straps off his bike. Such an unlucky thing to be honest. But the poor bloke thinks he might have torn his hamstring because he overstretched his leg. But dramas and the adventure on it, that's for sure. We'll see what happens in the minutes to come I guess. Oh, I'm just going to have to commit to this. This looks atrocious. I want it to be over there. Oh, this is full on. Holy shit. You want to go around there. Oh shit! I can't put my bike anywhere. Hang on, this is turning out to be a disaster. We just came down this hill blind and I went straight for the guts which was terrible. Jan dropped it because he followed me. Alex took a smart route. And Ollie took a smart route, so goes to show there's more ways than one down a hill, but there's always a preferred one. And poor Jan and I did not take the preferred one. Man, this got full on so quick. Oh man, these hills. Whew. Not want to fall in that rut. Come on, Sally. Up here. Oh, don't slide in there, don't slide in there. Oh, shit. Oh. Go, Yarn, go, Yarn. Oh. Stuck in the rut. That's it, that's it. Go, go. Good work. The problem with these hills is you've got to kind of keep going and you go around a corner, you don't know what everyone else is doing. But these poor blokes have come unstuck. <laughs> What's going on? You having a break? Yeah. <laughs> Union allocated uh, break. <laughs> Union allocated break. Classic fiery. <laughs> is it in gear? Yep. <laughs> One. Two, three. Hold your front brake. Yep. 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 Hang on, I'm going to put your front wheel yep. right here. Right. Just bit by bit. That's it, that's it. No, stop it, stop it. Oh, Jesus. You're up, bro? Yeah. 
You said right, didn't you? Thank you. What are you doing on me? Clutching and everything. Hey, your phone. Oh, that's, yeah, your phone. Your phone. That's it, tractor, tractor. Yeah, beautiful. How many falls is that now? We got five, I think. Only the one you can One, two, three, four, four. Tully's getting up there. Oh, no, five with Stuart, the poor bugger. Oh shit! What is going on? Mate! Full send, eh? Yeah. Ready? One. Yeah. One, two, three. Hold your break. One, two. So just let your clutch out a bit, you hold your brake. Yep. Let out a bit. Yep. I got it. There you go. Brake, brake. Yep. Well, you're going to be get a, get going here. Oh, yeah, go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get going here. Come on, sir. Um, I'll just go up there and I'll come give you a hand. Alright, thank you. <laughs> come on, bike. Don't do this to me. So this track, Waterford's track, I can see why they close it in rough conditions, but it is completely rutted out, rocks everywhere, and everyone's had a fall, um, but Jan and I so far, and um, it's definitely killing me, because I'm walking up and down a hill, doing some filming, um, helping lift bikes, which all four, but the heat, oh my god, I feel like I'm complaining about everything, but um, it's just sapping the energy out of me, walking in these clothes. However, I am absolutely having a ball of a time still. Now I'm going to get up this hill now. I've helped a couple, now it's time to get my poor bike up. Come on Sally. Let's get this going. Standing. Oh, yes. Whew. Just when we thought it was all done. Oh, my goodness. This is the last bit. There he goes, go, 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 Yarn! Oh, shit! You okay? Yeah. 
You okay? Yeah, good. This is gonna be another. Fuck. The top's just there, eh? I know. There we go. Good work, Jan. But it's stuck in rocky. We made it! Gilbrauta Lookout! Oh yeah! Look at this! At the beginning of the day I was um, saying how Mother Nature's put on a show for us and the weatherman got it wrong. Well, maybe the weatherman got it right because we're heading into a pretty ugly looking cloud. It's starting to rain and um, I don't have my jacket on and the raindrops are absolutely feeling like pin needles in my skin. But we're nearly at the next town, there's definitely some rain coming, that's for sure. Well this is a classic example of adventure riding, it's not always kisses and roses and hugs are just fun times because right now we've got four dudes just getting absolutely smashed with rain. Neither of us but one have got waterproof lines because it's rain. Well it was meant to happen, one or two mil, but not what we're getting right now, like it's about 20 or 30 mil falling here. And as I speak, I can feel water dripping down my jump arm or jacket and going right into the crutch area on either side of my, well, let's just say testicles. And um, <laughs> it doesn't feel that great because it's gone from being stinking hot to pretty bloody cold. Um, classic New South Wales Blue Mountain sort of, um, I guess, conditions. But you know what, it's all part of the fun. We try to wait it out, but we just have to keep going and push on. We're all on the same page, which helps. And um, yeah, we've gone from climbing big hills and sweating our tits off to now having a bath and freezing our tits off. So happy days indeed. So we've made it to Conangra Walls Road. The rain is slowly dying off. The sun wants to poke through, but we're pretty wet. So the trick is now, can we dry off before camp? Otherwise, we're going to have a few cold, miserable blokes. But on this road here, I say it every time I come here, it's a basic, basic fire trail, well maintained, nothing hardcore about it. But I just love riding through here because the bush is so old, it's so prehistoric, and it just feels, I oh know, it just feels nice to be able to travel through here, that's all. So happy to be on this track again. I know a couple of the boys haven't been on it, so hopefully they're enjoying it. And um, yeah, we'll just get a bit of sun poking through and happy days again. I was deeper than expected. Oh, mother fuck! Oh, shit, that's what I get from sitting too close. <laughs> I was just drying out, and Alex has just absolutely sprayed me, mother. Oh. I forgot about this. I think it's the 
I was just talking to Jan and he was saying that he hasn't rerouted his carby hoses and I reckon that's what's happened there. It's bloody conked out. It's pretty deep. That's not a um That's not a little one. This is like an awesome action shot. Oh, <laughs> go, Jan. Go, mate, go. What happened? <laughs> you can't be? Yep. Ooh, nearly. Hey! This is awesome stuff. Oh, oh go, go! No, no, jump! Oh, go! Holy moly! You made it! Bloody hell, that was deep. Yeah, because you know why? Because oh. your suspension's so low. Oh, bloody hell. Because you sit around two or three inches lower than me, but you hit this rock. I was trying to I go. Know, I know, I saw it. I was like, Fuck. Nah, but you did the right thing. Just kept throttling through, and I reckon you're totally fine. Good work. You want to stick on this side. Yep, 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 yep. Go, go. Yeah. <laughs> this is action. I didn't realize that was that deep. This hill has been very, very slick, so I'm just taking my time, bit of that red clay stuff. This is looking elevated from this angle, but I won't really know until we oh jeez, get amongst it. Oh no, hi <laughs> boy. Oh no, well, there's not normally water in this section, that's concerning. Alright, let's see what we've got. Ah, no, nah, that's fine. Totally fine. Well, here come the boys. Yeah, nice, nice, good. Yeah, there's a couple of big rocks here, so definitely this is the way to go. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Loose as. Loose as. Yeah, that's how I do. I sit down as well. Safety first. Good work. Oh, this is epic doing river crossings with people. Normally I'm stuck out here on my own. <sighs> One inch from drowning my bike. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> the KTM flying through the sky. I don't dare do that because I feel like my subframe was snapping half with the weight on it. Um, Jan was saying about the suspension and that is absolutely a beaut. And it just showed it there, fully loaded up, getting absolutely airborne. That was sick. Definitely a um, good rider, Jan, in front of me. He's got an older school KTM, but it's um, absolutely eating up the terrain. My little DRZ big ball is also eating up the terrain. i tell you what, Yarn, if you're watching this back, I don't know if riding is a good thing because <laughs> I'm going way faster than I should be, fully loaded up, but I'm absolutely having a blast trying to keep up with the KTM. 
um, this is <laughs> kind of like a race now. Oh, so good. I wasn't filming. Got caught up in the fucking rut. Oh, Jan just went flying off his bike. I don't know if the camera's caught in time. He was just laying there trying to act cool. Oh my goodness. Probably why it said road closed. <laughs> you okay? You went flying. <laughs> oh. Were you filming? Yeah, oh no, no, I wasn't. Let's do it again. Come on, let's go back. Yeah, that was awesome. What happened, mate? Uh, the, the jerry can decided that it was time to fill up. Oh, you run out of fuel. No, 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 the jerry, no, the jerry can fell off, so it, it got put in there. So young Alex here decided to copy um, my setup from back in the day, thinking it was solid, <laughs> and he's <laughs> carrying the red jerry can. And I've lost mine many times and learnt my lesson, but he's still, um, <laughs> he's still rocking it. Is this the second time it's gone off on this trip? Uh, yeah. 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 So he keeps losing his jerry can. Luckily, no doubt Ollie would have been behind him <laughs> and been, <laughs> being his collector of garbage. Mate, stop littering. Thought you might have had a crash or something. No, nothing cool like that. Yeah, well, that's probably better, mate. <laughs> so we've made it to our campsite. I've just confirmed with Yarn at Silent Creek in... Abercrombie National Park. I've set up here. There's no one here. Like, unbelievable. I thought it was going to be busy, but not a soul in sight but us. I've got my set up here. I thought I had a problem with my bike, but I feel like it's now just some chain slaps. I've tightened that up. Jan's got, um, he's got a pretty high tech setup, really. Um, he's over here, so we've got plenty of distance between ourselves because not one of us know who snores and who doesn't. His bike's going good, no fixing required. We've got Alex, who's pretty beat up, but he's running like a gazelle now, so clearly nothing wrong with his legs. He's just gone the old school bivvy. And then we've got Ollie. To be honest, I think he's Inspector Gadget. He's got everything under the sun. Bike's running well. And he's got the biggest seat I've ever seen for a motorbike trip. Let's have a look at this thing. Like dead set. <laughs> this, is, um, this is Ollie's chair compared to our chair so he's, he's got the kit that's for sure morning two is underway we bid farewell to our beautiful campsite we had it to ourselves but it turns out we needed to go 200 meters down the road and around the corner to be at the actual campsite and <laughs> we're at the wrong place but as you know what it was awesome to stay there a little bit of rain overnight just a little tiny river crossing to start the day and off we go. Ooh. Into the hill climb. Go, go, go. This is a sensational morning's ride. Um, weather's perfect. Maybe a tad bit of rain later on today, but that's okay because today's our last day. Um, but this open woodland, I, I like it because you can see through the trees so much easier and take in all the views like that straight ahead over there. Um, really, really nice place very dusty though even with the rain we had as, as if it never rained here very very dusty indeed this one looks pretty friendly I'm not sure about every other adventure rider but for me the ideal adventure ride in my books is starting off on a farm road like this, tackling some real hard stuff in the middle of the day, and then finishing off on a road like this, but in some sort of bushland. It doesn't always happen like that, but um, in my opinion, it doesn't get much better than that kind of setup. And a couple of river crossings thrown in there, and you've really covered everything, really. Uh, old Sally with the big ball can match the top end speed of the KTM. Um, I'm trying, we're getting about 130. Mine kind of dies off a fraction, but um, the KTM's got plenty more in her. We're really humming along now. Yes, I don't normally ride like this. The 
let's see if the big boar can get up. Go! Oh, oh bravo! Go, go, go! <laughs> nah, I can't, I can't. The only drama out here, and I say it every time I ride in these sort of areas, the kangaroos. Um, myself in particular, here goes some right now. They're just everywhere. I've nearly hit two, and when I say nearly, a couple of meters off, whacking right into it. One was a big grey. Uh, so we're just going to go a bit slower. Um, so okay, take in the, the sights over there. But yeah, not worth whacking into a kangaroo just to go that extra 10, 20k now faster. More kangaroos again. We are seeing so many of these. Come on, buddy, off the road, off the road. Oh, he's doing 60k an hour. 50 now. The two little legs jumping, that's pretty fast. So we're just going down a pretty significant hill. Um, I've been up it a couple of times on enduro days, but never attacked it going down that I can recall, and or fully loaded up. And here goes someone down. You right, Ollie? Oh, and May, out of the way, Ollie, quick for the camera. <laughs> Oh, yep, Alex is down. <laughs> well, there you go. Just as I was speaking about having gone down this hill, two bikes go down, but we're having a laugh at breakfast. Who will be the first to drop it today? Officially, it's Ollie. And then um, Alex straight after. But yeah, like I was saying, it's a pretty tough hill, this. And um, it's full of loose rock, and we're fully kitted up. So just taking on the challenge. You all right? Yeah. I'll sneak them away down. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful you don't wash out this off camber bit. Yeah. You're better off trying to go down the guts, I'd say. Yeah. All right. Get this bike going. Come on, Sally. Oh, this is a choke point. Come on. Woo! Come on, Sally. Oh, shit, we didn't want the didn't want that. Come on. Yes. Woo. I love that hill. That's intense. Oh. Oh, nice. What a good parking spot. Mate, you nearly made it. That's the hard bit done. If we can get you here, you'll get going again. Good work. I thought it was Jan coming up. No, no I had to pass Jan. Yeah, hey, mate. Good work. Um, Now, you probably want to roll the front wheel back in that ditch. Yep. You got it? Yep. Here comes Jean of a fresh run up. Nice. Get out of his way. Yeah, nice, nice. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, yeah! A little mono. Well, the KTM did that better than me that time. That's for sure. We're still travelling north, and I've gone further than I ever have been four in here. Um, that last hill, though, conquered Ollie. He, um, he's just fatigued. He um, was happy for me to ride it up, but he really walking up was just going to be just as fatiguing. So he made the call to head home via the roads, but then meet us um, at a, another point. So he's going to go around all this. Hopefully we catch up with him. I've sent him a pin drop, but yeah, that hill um, conquered a few of us, but three of us are still continuing. Yeah, you want to give it a shot or not? Um, almost reset in here then and just just stop here just so you don't because you'll do what Yarn did and I feel like you'll get too fast ahead and then you come where I am so remember put your feet on the high side of everything I was thinking here okay yeah but you don't want to fucking come down this just jump it. okay are you sure well, I've get down somehow. yeah but you want to do it safely you want me to get out of your way? Uh, yeah, I'll just wait for you to move you. Okay. I'm not crushing or anything, don't worry. Okay. We're on a pretty significant hill, but I'm, I want to try and help Alex if I can, but I don't want to be in his way either. Um, see how this goes. So Alex knows he can turn around if he wants to, but... He wants to commit to it because he's a young bloke and he, he wants to get as good as he can. Um, he's got all the courage in the world. Go on. You need to just fall into it and then hit your brakes. Leave your... Oi! Oh, shit, 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 shit. Go, Alex. Can I get this on, <laughs> I am. Leave your, leave your engine off. Yep. Roll. No, no, no. Ah. Oh. You okay? Shit, man. You had it. <laughs> yeah, you're on film. Alex's biggest concern is becoming a YouTube star. Bro, you just needed to let uh, one more roll and you were there. Let me give you a hand. I don't know if I can park my bike here, though. Come on, Alex. Go, go, go. Oh, is he up? Oh, shit. Oh, his whole bike just flipped up on him. We're coming, bro. Oh. Hang on. Can't park my bike here. Are you okay? Oh, thought you were dead. Oh, man. I did say for you, I didn't see what I passed, I thought you were laying on the ground under your bike. Because I couldn't really take my eyes off the road, shit. <sighs> Fuck, okay, as long as you're okay. It looked bad, that's all. And we can't up here, I can't stop anywhere, so I'm like, Fuck, I've got to punch it as quick as we can. Okay, so you decide to go the hardest way. Yeah, yeah okay. Good. Yeah, that was my back. <laughs> We're getting a thumbs up for the camera if you laugh. Okay, <laughs> there you go, guys. Alex's way. Oh man, well, that was not expected at all. Ooh, this is another full on hill. I'll tell you what, this is just like the Victorian high country. Oh, go, go, go. There's a choke point. Oh, go, go. Oh, yes. What a legend he's up. I'm 
Minder up, idiot. We'll get going. Come on, Sally. What am I fucking doing? Mother, I just go to show anyone can have a bad hill climb. What is going on? My pants are caught on my fucking thing. What was that? Fuck. How did that go wrong? Root, root, root. That's not meant to happen, Lance. At all. Can I just say, officially on camera, your skill level from yesterday to now, I'm serious, has gone. That hill there was full on and you just got up it. So take that as a compliment, alright? Even with all the crashes, uh, I don't know if you're feeling it, but it, um, you've just gotten so much better. So, fucking good on you. Yeah, good on you. Ah, we found Ollie. He's alive and probably a good bloody call, Ollie, when you watch this back. Good call. Yeah. That was, and that first hill was a baby. Say again? That first hill was a baby. Yeah, it was full on. Everyone's fallen. But we've done it. Alex has survived, but he's going to head home. He's fucked. He's he did what you did. Flipped upside down, but um, mate, that was full on. So, Ollie and Alex, uh, they're going to head home now, which is that way for them. Jan and I heading home is this way, but we'll still go for a bit more bush. But we live in a complete different direction. And um, yeah, Alex and Ollie, if you're watching this, you did absolutely awesome. We all knew it was going to be a super hard ride. Um, and it certainly um, lived up to its expectations. I tell you what, this is the ride that just has it all. I can't believe we're in torrential rainfall now. I mean, for two days of riding, I've experienced everything other than snow out here. This is ridiculous. What an absolute, unbelievably hard, tough, ugly, beautiful, crazy adventure ride in a day and a half worth of riding I've had, and the boys have had. Oh, you've got to have a smile, baby, because if you don't, these rides just take it out of you and they scar you for life. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Jan and I have made it to Marangaroo National Park. Um, the only reason why I really came for here, other than cutting through some dirt tracks to get from one main road to another, was to take on two river crossings I've yet to have a chance to do, because it's always flooded. And with all this rain we've just had, <laughs> it might be flooded again. Oh man, we cannot win. We are dead set. Look at all this water we've got here. This is phenomenal to be caught out in something like this. My problem is, I can't my visor keeps fogging up um, and I can't see what I'm doing we've just overshot a turn because I failed to pick up on my nav oh this is so full on and sensational at the same time get out of it no 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 get out of there Quick! Oh, what are you doing? Oh shit! <laughs> we gotta get your bike here, bro. Oh shit! You gotta go left. We gotta get it left. You're in a rock. I can feel it. Oh, oh, hop off! Quick! I don't think it's taken on water yet. Oh, we gotta go where you are. Fuck, man! I'll try and hold this rear end up. Can you push here? Can you push if I hold your rear? Okay, hang on. Let's just drag this up here. Yeah. We don't want to go any further. One, hang on, let me get my foot out of the way. One, two, oh. hang on, hang on, hang on. One, two, three. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, you, can you drag that if I brace this or not? Oh shit, 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 sh
I stink like shit now. Okay. A little bit. Not much to write home about though. No. Dead set at 100 mil. That's it, nothing. Let one, two, three, let it go. Yeah, go. We didn't think yarn took on water, but he undid this. It was up to here, poured out, full of this shit. Yeah. So, just to put some context around this, um, I'm with Jan, I probably would have done the same thing. He just went to turn his bike around. And like, you've got a stump there, you can see the grass. And he's unfortunately fell in a rut about that wide, which was about a foot and a half deeper than each side. And there goes his bike. And he did the right thing. He tried to get out of it, keep accelerating, but it just got deeper and deeper where it looks like it wouldn't be. I mean, this is flash flooding at its finest. Um, you, know, you can see all the water pouring in and, and now his bike's drowned, so... You know, no one expects that, but these fucking puddles, you, they can be absolute bike stealers and they take your bike and you get bogged in there too. Not good. Just fire it. Yeah. Moment of truth. Yarn, fingers crossed, we've got to get you home, mate. Let's see if she fires. Oh, nerve wracking. I'll hold of this so it doesn't fall off. Oh, running better than before. So the sad reality is we can't get the bike going, not here. We think the carburetor's full of just muddy gunk which is a very high possibility. Um, I'm not in a position to top any of these hills because we're stuck at the bottom of the hill. I found a four-wheel drive guy who's happy to come down and maybe tow the bike to the top of the hill. And then maybe I can tow him the main route back to Lithgow, which is only 15k away. Um, but maybe that hill will be okay. But yeah, I need to get him to the top so I can then actually tow in the rest of the way. So these four drive guys are obviously being pretty cool to help out. But they're not in a position to go beyond where they are. So we'll see. Poor yarns now got to hold on for this section here. That looks tricky. Very tricky. His bike started the first time and then it just died again. And it's just not happy at all with the water being in the engine and the carby. Poor KTM. Staying there, right? It's a bit of a shit point there. Oh, maybe this forward drive guy's doing really good, very consistent on the um, throttle. Mate, I'm filming and making a video out of this. Lachlan and your buddy, thank you so much for um, getting us out of that section, and hopefully, my mighty little bike can um, take it take the rest. Um, you're a legend, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, bro. Really appreciate it. So we've got this connected, this connected, and we're just gonna, I'm sick of filming. We're just, ah, oh, shit. Yarn's trying to take my bike out now. Fuck, sorry, oh. Oh. He's like, fuck this bike. This bike's trying to save you, mate. Okay. Come on, Sally. We've got this. Gonna be working hard, that's for sure. Man, you can 
silver bike working hard on the hill. Oh my goodness. Come on Sally, don't let us down. We're just gonna get the lift go. We've got 20 kilometers, but a good 17 of those kilometers is on the Great Western Highway at 110k an hour. And there's gonna be some traffic, so we'll make some phone calls when we get there. We might just try to have to sort out something else, I don't know. It's 4 p.m. though, so most people are gonna be shutting shop and not going to want to be um, getting involved in much helping I don't think but we'll see so I'm getting over filming but I'll better capture the moment I've towed yarn to the Great Western Highway but the reality is this is a main main drag cars going 110k now there's no shoulder to start with so we're not going to risk our lives so we stopped the tow we caught a local, local bike shop in town and they're going to come and meet Yarn out here with a spark plug in a van. They're going to charge him from the minute they leave um, the shop. If the spark plug works, because the spark plug's screwed, he'll just ride home. If not, the bike's going in the van and he's probably going to stay in Lithgow the night. Mate, you're on camera. Stay positive. We'll have another ride, me and you, because you ride like a legend. Um, and look, it's the best we can ask for, eh? You're smiling. <laughs> but good on you, man. Good on you. At least we got the van here. Yeah, 100 percent And we got you here now, so happy days. It's not the way you want to end in an adventure ride. Um, I've just left Lifco. Yarn staying here for the night. I've got a hundred kilometer ride home. It's sprinkling with rain. I'm probably gonna get rained on some more. I've lost my gloves, I'm freezing cold. It's gonna be dark soon, I'll be dodging kangaroos, but you know what, it comes part of the, um, it's part of the gig. If you're going to go adventure riding, these things can happen. And you just got to do the best you can to come out the other side of a positive mindset. So, in saying that though, thank you to Stuart, Alex, Oli and Jan. Um, we've never met before, but I tell you what, we had one bloody epic adventure. And uh, I don't think I've had that much action in one ride ever before because... For a day and three quarters of riding, we had it all, and it was just so full on for everyone involved, but wouldn't have it any other way. So, until next time though, I'm um, gonna make my way home, a soggy old wet apprentice adventure, and I'll catch you on the next adventure, which um, should be coming up pretty soon actually. I've got a nice ride booked in and lined up, so um, stay tuned for that.